Hello, friends, and welcome to Storytime. Today, we're going to be reading the book, Extraordinary Jane. This book is written and illustrated by Hannah E. Harrison. So this is the front cover. This is the back cover. And this is the spine. And the spine says, Extraordinary Jane. OK, friends, let's get started. Extraordinary Jane. This is the title page, Extraordinary Jane. There she is. Jane was ordinary. Mm, I see lots of signs here. I see Swingin' Monkey Band Circus. I see Barnaby Bellucci Circus, Jungle Pete's Fiery Feats, Barnaby Bellucci's Balancing Betty Circus. The Buffon Brothers, Canine Cannonballs, Penelope, The Painting Pachyderm, The Buffon Sisters, High Wire Act Extraordinaire, Furry and Fearless Feats That Will Amaze and Delight, and The Lovely Lula Bell, The World's Most Graceful Rider. In a world that was extraordinary. <gasps> Wow, what do you see here? I see an elephant standing on one foot. I see a monkey playing the trombone. I see a horse with a dog on his back. I see an elephant painting a picture. I see these dogs flying through the air. I see a monkey playing a trumpet. I see a monkey playing a drum. I see an ostrich standing on a ball. Wow. She wasn't graceful like her mother. Look at her mother doing some sort of dance on top of a horse. And she wasn't mighty like her father. Look, her father was so strong, he could lift up an entire elephant. That's pretty impressive. Meanwhile, she can barely, barely carry the bucket of poop. And she wasn't daring like her brothers. Look, her brothers wanted to be shot out of cannonballs. She's so scared. She's covering her ears. And she wasn't fearless like her sisters. Look, her sisters are all standing on a tightrope. And then they're standing on each other and making a pyramid. <gasps> wow, that looks very daring. Jane was just Jane. She tried to find her special talent. Oh my goodness, she's gonna go up on the trapeze. But the heights made her quite dizzy. <gasps> Look, she's up there and she's looking at all the other animals down there. She feels a little dizzy. And her jokes were a flop. Here she tried to dress up as a, as a clown, but it didn't really go very well. And she tried to play some musical instruments, but it was terrible. Her music lacked musicality. And she tried to do some painting, but it didn't really come out very well, you know, compared to the elephant. Her paintings were pizzazz. And then there was the whole balancing ball disaster. She tried to get on top of a ball and walk on it, balance on it, but uh-oh, she lost control and all the other animals had to run away. Uh-oh, they all got very injured. Broken arm. Oh no, what happened to the elephant? Maybe he broke something. The bear twisted his ankle. The ostrich needs to cast on her neck. The elephant bumped his head. The 
Monkey did something else to his head. Poor Jane. Well, Jane was just Jane. She's just a cute little pet. See, the ringmaster is giving her a bath, drying her off with a towel, handing him his hat, and she can stand up just like that. So Barnaby Bellucci's Jane, a really good dog. She's just a really good dog. She might not be amazing like all the other animals, but she's good at being herself. And that was enough. The end. So this book was called Extraordinary Jane. Thanks for coming to Storytime, friends, and I'll see you next time.